classic number there from the 80 cats in the cradle. It's 22 to 6. This is Tuesday Drive. Now, who doesn't mind a little bit of retail therapy? Now, for many men in the Shoalhaven, there's probably been one store to go to in the Nowra CBD for that pretty something special. Perhaps a, a special shirt for a party or a, or a, a checkered jacket and tie for a wedding or perhaps a patent tuxedo for your school football. I'm joined in the studio today by David Harrison, who is the owner of Stanley John's Menwear, with a little sad news for all those who had appreciated uh, that made-to-measure suit over the years. For over half a century, the store has sat proudly on Junction Street, but will be closing its doors soon, sadly. Uh, David, welcome to Tuesday Drive. It's great to be here. Thank you. And I guess the big question on everyone's lips is why? Why now? Oh, I think it's time. I've um, learned my trade. I've been there for 26 years. Wow. Uh, ever since I left uh, high school, basically. Um, and, yeah, I've, I've, I'm just time for change of walls, I guess. So, um, yeah. And which high school did you go to? Nara High School. Good old Nara High School. A few formals there, that's for sure. So how did you come to be at Stanley John's Men's Wear? Uh, I was just out of school and being 18, I had a bit of uh, casual work at uh, Shohavenick Servicemen's Club on the weekends. Um, and just by chance, uh, my mum, who's a barber, uh, was cutting one of the staff's hair and said we're looking for a new young guy and she basically got on the phone and said get your bum up there as quick as possible for an interview and I haven't left still so, there so we were actually interested in fashion back then uh to be honest at at the time it was just a job right um so I had no idea but but when I entered I was obviously a keen learner mm. um and then it became a passion over a couple of years and then I, yeah, never looked back. I loved it. And do you still remember the interview to this day? Yeah, I was so nervous. I was, yeah, was, yeah very, very nervous. But I got the job just based on my mum. So thanks, mum. Thanks, thanks indeed, mum. So who was the person that interviewed you? Uh, Stan Harvey. He so was, was Mr Harvey himself. Yeah, he was the owner of the business who, who started the mm. Pioneer. And um, yeah, I learned so much off him. He was great. He was great sense of humour. Old school learning, uh, there was no, you didn't have to do any courses is basically what he taught you. Mm. He knew everything and, and yeah, I learned well. Because he'd been there for quite some time, hadn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd been, he opened in 1964 um, and then he got to, well, learn, he sort of got us taught up and then he retired. Uh, then the next guy in charge who worked for him for so long, he bought it and then it just happened that I was next in line, and then I bought it. So, and, and what what are some of the things that you learnt from him that you know you're still using to this day? Uh, definitely how to um, measure correctly. Uh, he was he was very good. You had to. The first thing I had to learn actually was uh, sizings very quickly. Mm. Um, if you didn't know your sizings, you really were guessing your way through the whole process. Um, so to this day, that's probably the number one thing um, that you need to know, um, except for customer service. And it was good because I had to learn quickly how to talk to a variety of different people. It wasn't just talking to my schoolmates. Now mm, it was, mm. I had a lot of elderly and and all sorts. So it was yeah, yeah, it was really good. Now I guess I guess one of the, the funny things is. Uh, when it comes to measurement of gentlemen, the old inside leg joke. I'm sure you've had a, a few of that over the years. Yeah. Did, did you cop it a bit? Yeah, oh, lots, lots. It was um, that was the go-to. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it was quite funny. I've, after all the years of of copying those jokes, which was quite funny, you'd go along with it. Uh, the, one of the first things I changed when I took over. Um, being decades on, was I decided to measure the outside leg, keep everybody. Happy and comfortable at the same yes, time. Yes, and obviously it still it still works. It still works. It's still the same. The inside leg, to be honest, is uh, a little bit more accurate. But I know my business, so it's mm. yeah, outside's fine. Keeps everybody in the right place. Now, so David, I, I thought you might appreciate this. Uh, speaking of that little joke, very good. I, very good. I, I couldn't help myself <laughs> then. So when it comes to fashion, especially in the Shoalhaven, have you seen it change over the years? Oh, definitely. Yeah. I was 
I would say I was lucky that I just missed the the flares. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I missed that era. Uh, but when I first started, it was it was primarily double-breasted suits, which um, I'm still not a fan of. Hmm. Uh, there were what? Why is that? Why aren't you a fan of the double-breasted suit? Oh, suits? they're very boxy. Okay, right. Um, it actually, I think there was a theory there that bigger guys like double-breasted because it hides. The front, mm-hmm. um, but oh, I believe it makes them look bigger. So, mm. uh, yeah. So there was the double-breasted suits. There was the big cravats that went with the vests, and and big, big wide ties. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm glad things have moved on, so to speak. But if you lived in the flare days, you'd still love the flares, I guess. And when it comes to to fashion today, I mean, I guess we could say that society is a little bit more casual when it comes to dressing down or dressing up, depending on which way you want to look at it. Does that sadden you as as you know as an owner of a menswear store? Because presuming back in the days, you know, people took a bit more pride in guess you know what they wore. You know, yeah, I was, only, I was only mentioning this uh, yesterday. the The whole dress sense has has gone a lot more casual. It is a bit disappointing. Uh, in saying that, like wearing the nice chinos to work, it, it is a nice relaxed feel, but it is a little bit disappointing that people, uh, I personally see it being in the industry, you go out to dinner and a lot of people just wear t-shirts and shorts when, if you're out for dinner, I think it's at least a button-up shirt, so to speak. Now, how many children do you have? Three girls. Three girls. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> When it comes to the, the, what, what the girls are wearing, do you sometimes sort of you know cast the eye over them, maybe give them some uh, fashion tips or suggestions? Yeah, but I don't think they really listen. Right. I think it's just a, a oh, dad, you know, so to speak. So, yeah, I try to I try to help them out, but they've got their own style. That's fine. <laughs> now, David, I mean, the store's been there since 1964. You have been over there for about uh, over 24 four years. Have you seen much changes in Junction Street? Uh, yes, I have. Um, I think I think now there seems to be, and this is no disregard to any businesses, yeah. but there's less boutique stores, uh, and I think that's a, a thing across a lot of towns. There's mm. a lot of uh, chain stores, um, cheaper price points overall, um, so that's the biggest change, and, and I think that leads to things like uh, you see advertising, and, and the first thing that people think about now is price over quality, and that's that's the biggest change I think I've seen, and I'm, I'm not sticking to narrow there, I'm mm. just overall. Mm. But that's a generalisation. I'm not saying there's not some lovely boutique stores. I just think there's less of them. And were you in Junction Street when the, the Red Rose Cafe was there? Yes, I was. Yes, that's, yes, that is going back a few years yes. now, isn't it, my Good goodness. milkshakes. It was the best milkshakes. Yes. Tell me, David, how hard is it going to be when you close the doors for the final time? Yeah, it'll be it'll be quite emotional. Uh, it's quite emotional now that I'm starting to spread the word. Um, but in saying that, I think it's time. Um, I love the rag trade and I consider myself a chance of going back to it or, or staying in it at some point. Um, but I, I believe at this time I, I sort of owe it to my girls. Um, I've worked every six days a week. I don't have a lot of holidays and I just owe it to my children at the age that um, I take a fraction of a step back just for, just for a moment. Yeah. Have you had any uh, sort of uh, quirky or funny customers over the years? <laughs> yeah, I've had quite a few general businessmen who come in basically holding their crutch because they've split their pants uh if we need we need a quick sale there so they can get through the day uh i had only last year i had a man who came in and he asked me do i have any of the narrow high school ties from the 1970s wow wow and i said to him why would i have that and he goes well you used to <laughs> so that was that was quite that was quite humorous. We've also had and did you have any of those ties in the back? Oh no, no, okay, no, right, right. never, <laughs> never. Uh, we also had um, a a groom and his groomsmen walk in on a Saturday morning. Um, 
looking worse for wear from the night before and said, we need some suits for a wedding. And I said, oh, that's good. When's your wedding? Oh, in about three hours. Oh, jeez. So that was, um, yeah, that was quite humorous, Thad. They, they, they really were struggling, but we got through it. And, well, and was it just you in the store at the time? It was, it was. So you had to look after all these gentlemen yeah. and get them dressed for the wedding in three hours. Yeah, it was, it was quite that's, humorous. That's no mean feat at all. Well, David, look, uh, thank you so much uh, for joining us on the show this afternoon. I, I do know that uh, you're inviting people to, to pop in the store and uh, certainly say hello and uh, maybe even goodbye to you. Um, I, I wish you all the very best for the future. Thank you. I'd just quickly like to um, just thank you, everybody, for their support and um, all my customers. They're beautiful people. And you, if you see me in the street, I'll definitely tell you where I will be in the future. Good on you. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Uh, what what a remarkable man there. That was uh, David Harrison from uh, Stanley John's Men's Win. As I mentioned, uh, definitely uh, pop in and uh, say hello and say goodbye. And even if you just go into the store itself to have a look at the uh, the beautiful pressed ceilings, it's uh, something you don't see much of anymore in the ye old now. And uh, maybe you hide a suit from that store when you're attending uh, now a high school, Bombardier High School, Shoalhaven High School. I wonder what your memories are, Double four double two one zero four five, or you can head to our uh, Tuesday Drive or Triple U FM page.